Hey family, I hope you're having uh, an incredible time on this journey with us. We're in uh, the city of Norfolk. It's a Tuesday night. Getting ready to go preach for a legacy revival at a very popular uh, church. Actually, it's the church where my grandfather's home going was. And um, <clears throat> just a major church, Pentecostal church in our city. And uh, they're celebrating legacy, so I get an opportunity to uh, talk about my grandfather and just represent third generation uh, <clears throat> leadership. Bishop Willis Sr. was an amazing uh, man of God who built an incredible church, and his son took it over. And his grandson is actually uh, one of my best friends, my brother. And um, so it's just really a full circle moment as we pull up. I've been to this church so many times as a young man. Uh, it's a pretty large church. It holds about 2,500 people. So a lot of the larger events in our city, concerts and what have you, have been held there uh, from Shirley Caesar to Benny Hinn. And so just even as a young teenager kid younger than that i've come as a musician i've been here many times recordings and uh, it's just a real full circle moment for me to be coming i actually eulogized my grandfather here so it's not my first time preaching here i believe i preached a couple times since then but uh, never in this capacity like a revival and taking these steps that i've taken so many times before we got here <clears throat> and um as we got here I think we beat everybody else, and so we were here a little early, and I know the church, and we're actually going to be in the upper room and greeting one of our associates, Elder Smith, great guy, and uh, let's just watch a few clips of the service. How to preach like it, but you really don't have what you say you have, because when the rubble meets the road, and when your back is up against the wall, I need to be able to trust that you don't leave me out the same way your daddy led me out. And I wish I was talking to somebody that was in this sanctuary tonight that's grateful for the fact that I belong to something that's real. We didn't just come up out of nowhere. We didn't just decide one day to be ambitious. But somebody heard from the Lord that it's time to build something that ever you loose on the earth, it will be loosed in heaven. Not only were we given keys, but we were given the spirit of God. So much so that the scriptures say the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is that spirit that's on the inside of you. And I know we think that that spirit just makes us speak in tongues and it just makes us feel good and it just makes us dance. But I'm...